Okay, hey guys, we're in Seoul and we're about to eat. Nothing's changed. This is Guangzhou Market. I just got bummed into, but it's okay. Because in Seoul, it's, it's like that. No more simi masens. You just do it, you just push. Every time I come to Korea with my family or by myself, I will come to these markets. You have all these stores over here. You're like neat to these women. They will, they will want to grab you. I'm kind of offended that they're not trying to grab me now. But they try to sell, sell, sell. They'll upsell the fuck out of you. If you think you've been overwhelmed with choice, you don't even fucking know when you come to Guangzhou Shijang. There's like fritters over here. You have Korean traditional tteokbokki over there. Blood sausage and then more fritters and then more tteokbokki. You just don't even know which one's like, which one to go to. All the bloggers tell you different shit. And I'm just here to tell you, there's okay, there's one place that you need to go to. It's this place, um, Puto Yuke? I think that's what it's called. They do beef tartare, we're gonna fucking find that place. All that doppelkin stuff, like that red rice cake stuff, they all taste the same. I swear they use the fucking same sauce. I actually think there's a rumor that they all use the same sauce. Tim, I'm not, I'm not even gonna be secret about that. Tim just fucking almost knocked a lady's bag off her fucking chair while she's eating after Japan where, he's all, where he actually smashed a fucking girl's phone. You didn't get that on camera. Oh, I didn't get that. I've never, I've never told you guys, yeah. But he smashed a girl's phone in Japan. The key are fat rice cakes, like her one's over there. Number 67. Keep your eye on that one. So you want the fat rice cakes. Some of them like use like real mushy cubes. You don't want that. If it's too red, it's food coloring. You don't want that. You want like kind of more pure stuff. You do have your special ones over here that do like their own special like pumpkin soup. But go the fuck home if you're here for pumpkin soup, okay? So this is a point. Always have this as your meeting spot. Fritterland, because there's like four different fritter spots over here. What makes them different from another? I really don't know. That's why it's just a real competitive market over here, but I fucking love it. This, this is soul to me. Food, Korean food. Oh, there she is, there she is. Have you seen, um, if you've seen Netflix street food, this lady's like, Shredding noodles and like cutting them and slicing them. She's so cool. 안녕하세요. TV에서 봤어요. 연예인이에요. 외국에서 완전 연예인이에요 이모. 아 멋져요 되게. She's legit. She's legit. I thought Netflix was like kind of like talking shit about her like. I was like, how golden can a smile be? But it was really nice. Like when she smiled at me, like she, she, she's glowing, mate. Like she's a, she's a real hard worker. Go support her. I never really see in Auckland people do Korean dumplings like that. It was quite wonderful. Yeah, and like they like Korean dumplings are so understated, but like, and I arguably think that they're like definitely better than gyoza's, and like. They're up there with Chinese dumplings. They have a thinner skin and they're way more prominent in herbs and like instead of using too much meat. I mean, they still love to use meat, but they actually mix it with like minced tofu. So there's like a fluffiness to it and they're real fucking juicy. And um, they have some herbs in there as well. So it's real fragrant. So I need to eat, I need to eat more Korean dumplings. Yeah. But again, not today. Not today. I need, to, I, need to, I need my beef tartare. I miss my dad. And my dad and I always get that. <laughs> Where the fuck is that? I never know. Every, no matter how many times I come here, I get lost every fucking time. No one seems to like get lost as well on their phone because I always search for like detailed directions. No one gives it to you. And you know what? I'm not going to give it to you either because you're going to suffer because I suffered. I think that's everyone's mentality. Wow. Do you see that? I'm not sure if you're going to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to do it. I'm not sure if you're going to do it. I'm not sure if you're
I was like, oh, she said, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, he told me you cut the noodles. And she was like, well, I'm done cutting, so you're gonna buy one? And I was like, see, but like, if you did that in like Auckland, that would start like a fight. Like a, a Kiwi dude would be like, you know what, lady, don't be a bitch. Like he, you know, it's just like, customers, customers are always right. It's just like, over here, these women have all the fucking power. Ah. Oh. Face of familiarity. <laughs> Identity crisis, why am I familiar with white people? You know how in Ponsonby, like, you lose, like, a sense of direction because all the houses look the same? Imagine that with market stalls. I have no idea where anything is. And, like, I'm trying to, like, Google answers, but it's like, I feel like an idiot because maybe I'm the only one in the world that doesn't know how to, like, direct myself at this place, but... I want to look for beef tartar. <laughs> Get real, mate. Get real. All right, focus. Main part, mung beans. Take a right, okay. What's the fuck? Wait. None of these places look like they have beef tartar. Okay. Guys, I'm scared to ask. Wait, is it rude if I ask like one of these store holders for uh, like direction? Wait, these girls, these girls. Togi ga. Yo, Puchone, you can't get in there. What are you going to say? Your camera fucking ruined my thing. Yeah, they were like, oh, fuck. I just feel bad because there's so many places like it. I'm not going to those ones, I'm going to a specific one. So you can't be fooled, you can't be fooled. There's a special ones and then there are, there are the dud ones. Imo. Okay, she ignored me. Imo. You can't be fooled, you can't be fooled. Hello, here. Here, here, 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 here. Guys, to be honest, I do not understand what she said because like, her accent's quite old. Oh my, oh my, oh my god, oh my god, I found it. <laughs> I found it, I found it. Alright, okay, okay, I found it, I found it. Okay, great, great. Guys, do we see that? So this is some place specialised in raw beef and raw squid? Or raw octopus? I don't even know. Finally made it to. Uh, actually, what? You know what the problem was? I actually didn't even really know the name of the place. The Yukke. So they specialize in Korean beef tartar and they also do live squid as well, but I'm very. You have to be careful with squid and like live octopus as well. I haven't heard much about this place when it comes to live octopus. So I think we might stay away from that one from this specific restaurant. Or should we just do it? You know, it's called eat lip food or don't eat lip. Okay, we're gonna eat lip food, we're just gonna do it. Raw beef liver and omasin. What's omasin? So we'll get it. Yeah, you can't have a nyo. Sanakti, tangtangi, and a nyo. Can I? 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 Do we need spoon? Oh, I didn't mention they also do other food like um, beef stews and like. Yeah, but they're special for their raw beef tartar. Michelin star. I find that white people, if you just say it's Michelin star, they're just like, okay, let's go. It's just a white approval. It's a white tip. Not complaining though. I think it's a great gateway to great Asian food. Oh wow, we're already here. The way to enjoy this, this gorgeous yolk, you just mash that in, rub it all in, and kind of gets rid of all the beefy flavors of the raw beef. And underneath you have like um, shaved nashi pears to really give it some fresh sweetness as well. And to cut the richness of the creamy egg yolk. Whenever my dad and I would come to Korea, this was like, we always got it. Mm. It's so fresh. When you get shit, low quality beef tartar. You always know it's been frozen for a long time because like it gets that slushy meat thing. 
If anything makes me want to vomit, it's slushy me. But this, the first time every time, oh my god. And the little nashi pear just like burst in your mouth with sweetness. It's that type of food you slowly want to enjoy the amount in your mouth. Mm. We have live octopus. Oh, they are waking up. The key to doing this is you want to, oh my god. It's not that weird. You just dip it in. I always dip mine in. Mm. And that moves around your mouth and starts panicking. So it sticks to like the gums of your mouth as well. It's like a pillow. It's like when you do a pill. Hello. Right. With this, please don't make the same mistake I did. My big dick energy. I just like gobbled one in. And it was a mess. It was just like just all around in my fucking throat. And it was just, yeah. Bad idea. I don't I can't imagine myself having a lot of it. Oh, by the way, these two foods have a story to tell. Once I like um I sound like an alcoholic now that I always talk about my nights out, but once I ate this, the live octopus, and like um, raw beef, not at this restaurant, but just this type of food, and I drank a lot of alcohol, and when I vomited, all of it came out cooked. And I'm just like looking at the stool, being like, oh my god, like my body actually cooked the live stuff. It was, it was amazing. So all that was brown and all that was like really firm. But I'm just so amazed that your body can do that. So you should be nourishing it with this type of stuff all the time. Mm. So guys, this is um, raw liver. I've had some raw liver in Tokyo, not raw, I've like seared liver in Tokyo and it was so fucking tender. Melted in my mouth, it was so good. That melts in your mouth but in like all the wrong ways. It's like expired pate, but it's really fresh pate, so it's not expired. It's just like at the very beginning of processing. And this omasum, what is omasum? What is it? Should I Google it? You should Google it. Actually, I'm not going to Google it because I'm... Yeah, I'm going to Google it after I've eaten it because I have no idea what that is. It never ends. It doesn't taste like anything, it just never ends. Oh, I, I can't even give that a rating because like it just it's just like chewy water. I'll eat it with the liver as a contrast actually. That liver is super tender, so maybe it's like good with some something really chewy. Absolutely not. <laughs> you more. 전혀 뭐예요? 근데 뭐예요? 아, 소 내장에 나오는 거예요? 아. 아. 네, 맛있어요. 예, 맛있어요. 응, 응. 감사합니다. Oh, well, I lied. I told her that it was really good because I'm such a bad. Oh, I'm, I did lie. I said um it was it tastes really good because she's just so proud of it. It's just um like the lining of a stomach a cow stomach. I think this place is really good. With a, I think it's a mid-range place. When you're in Guangzhou Market, of course there are cheaper places around, but I would definitely check this place out, especially for this raw beef tartare. That's the freshest thing you're gonna get out of a cow, especially in Korea. So, 100%. And just be adventurous, have some live octopus, it's not a big deal, it's chopped up. They don't have a brain, I mean they're probably still in pain, but yeah. Just love. <laughs> Waiting in line again, not for Blackpink, for a donut. Not just any donut. This is the Gwangjang Shidang Chop Sai Gwabegi donut, so it's from the Gwangjang market. And they're like made of rice flour, so they're real fucking chewy. 
and the, only, the closest thing I can get to this in um, New Zealand is Julie's Donuts. Shout out Julie. And yeah, I'm real looking forward to it. So um, I'm real fucking full from the meal I had before. But when you travel, you just don't listen to your body. You just have to do it. And I'm gonna do it. I'm so excited. People are like, I've seen fights about to start up from this queue. Some people are holding numbers for their other friends, and, like jumping in line. I'm about to lose it as well. Like, I think also with like stuff like this, when you're in line, you form like a mentality of like, should I like just buy like 20? Because I waited in line, you know? Like you feel like you've really earned as much as you can possibly get. But they specialize in like the twist donuts. They're real fucking beautiful. And um, I think they do like red bean pool ones as well. Let me tell you two gadgets here. There? There, 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 there. Thank you. 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 you. We are standing in the flavor. So this is a rice flour donut with like some corn flour as well. So he says they're really chewy. So recently um, some actress from the Avengers went there and like talked about it in an interview. And apparently um, that got them real fucking popular, which is why it's a uh, Wednesday night and it's heaving. Yeah, they dust it with cinnamon sugar. Julie's Donuts is the only one that does any donut kind of like this in Auckland. I mean, love her, but like, they're not, they don't really look like this. I'm really sorry. But can I take a bite? Oh yeah. Oh, come on. So crisp on the outside and so chewy on the inside. You know what I love about this? It's like a little lip scrub. Mm. It almost tastes like, wait, look, look how it stretches off. Do you see that? Like, it almost tastes like it's undercooked, but it's so chewy for like dough. And like, it's like, it's kind of like, also kind of like a mochi. I don't know how to explain it. And that like form of crisp shit, like shell that has around it, it's like protecting it. Protecting the soft little like baby butt that's in there. And there's a lot of air whipped into this one as well. I can't wait to give Tim some, cause again, I'm trying to change his tooth. I'm trying to change him to a sweet tooth. So. Bro, I'm just getting like attacked by Korean aunties. It's so funny. Oh yeah, Koreans don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck here. I mean, do that for three months and you're gonna struggle. I got really depressed at being in Korean. Like, this, there was this one lady and I was like going up an escalator and she was literally almost fingering my asshole because she was pushing my bum, being like, move, move, move. And I was just look. I stay for the donut though, you know what I mean? In my day, they used to call that the Hopawade. What was that? It was a rugby league player, no shit. In like 2002, in a rugby league game, put his finger up and do like haters. Not like in the crack, like tried to get into the hole. Imagine Why? Being like nine years old when that happens in the world. Why? It was like the day JFK died. Uh, unsure. Un unsure. Was he trying to distract him? I think he's just a fucking strange guy, John Hopewater. You can Google it. It'll be like part of Urban Dictionary. John Hopewater, are you watching this fucking video? You're still relevant. Hmm. I always love the end bit because it's the most. I am greedy. You got pushed again. I'm really sorry that's happening to you. It's fine. I deserve it. I'm going to try to film it eventually. Yeah. Okay. Oh shit. No. Ice cream. 
알싸멘 알싸멘이 가능 있어요? 어 감사합니다. 네. She's giving an ice americano. She wants you to take a risk. Thank you. Thank you. She, I didn't even order this. She like knows my favorite order. So good. These donuts, these like twist donuts. Um, my mum used to um, bring them like as my sweet treat as a kid. Like almost every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, which is why I was such a chubby kid. And um, yeah, I remember like. Well, like some kids would make fun of me for being real chubby in primary and like she would just drive me to Hanyang supermarket and um, back then there was this um, cake house called, uh, bakery called Cafe Romanina and she would just um, pack like donuts like just like a huge bag of them and just give them to me and it would just solve any problem and yeah it's, it's nice to see that the culture of twist donuts hasn't died because Krispy Kreme I fucked Korea up the bum. Yeah. Well, I will say, Krispy Kreme in Korea is pretty damn lit. And if you see it in this episode, like, don't judge me. Like, or like this, like, series, because like, we might go. It's legit. They come up with new flavors every month. They're really exciting. The original glaze has just kind of fucked everyone up, I guess. So like, it just melts away in your mouth. But, um, so that American donut thing has really taken over Korea. Dunkin' Donuts is a franchise. They're quick, they're easy. But you see, like, that's nothing. You see that on, like, not on the main parts of Seoul anymore, but, like, you see that on the um, local streets of just, like, old women who, like, I'm scared for their fucking spine, but they're carrying dough like that thing, just slamming on tables, twisting donuts around. You just see them frying them all day on the streets. And, yeah, it's cool to see that Koreans are still appreciating because they weren't tourists, they were people, they were, those are Koreans lining up, which is like a rare thing. When you go to like, um, popular places, usually people that are like tourists that line up for that shit, like me. But not like me, because I'm Korean. And this is a type of identity crisis that I go through every day. Who am I? What am I? You, like, that's a very serious question you, you, you just asked me. Oh! Oh, 감사합니다. 뜨거 뜨거워 지금. 아 뜨거워요, 뜨거워요. 알겠습니다. Oh, so she just she just gave me a red bean donut, and this is um apparently very very hot right now. But I'm just so impatient. It just came out of the fr oh, I'm not doing that to myself yet. Right, I'm just gonna try this now. I'm being really impatient. Oh. Oh. Red bean. That's special, man. It's like usually red bean is really like it's like a puree, but this is more like it's like whipped and fluffed up, so it's real fluffy. Yeah, it's real airy. It's real airy, yeah. So the areas, the, the areas red bean, right? It's like. my favorite sweet thing on the planet. Oh my god, that's all awesome. uh, That I've never heard him say that, ever. Thank you, Gwangjang Shijang Kwabegi Donut. This is more than I ever wished for. I'm so full. I am so full, but I'm really happy. But I need to go poo. I hope I can poo.